Hello! In this video, I will be showing you how to download the grades from the Canvas grade book so that you can easily enter them into the MyBaypath portal. I will be obscuring student information so you will not see the student names on the left-hand side, which you would normally see in your course. Let me point out a few things. So we do have columns of graded submissions that were all assigned a point value. I also want to bring out to your attention that in this course, which was an online course, it was designed with a 30 and 70 percent weighting. So the discussions were weighted at 30 percent of the grade and the assignments, written, quizzes, etc. were assigned a 70 percent grade. So the total score is an average of those based on the weighted average. So let me point that out. So what you're going to do to download these grades is come to this gearbox. And what you will do is a couple things. I always recommend that you say treat ungraded as a zero because that will make the weighted average absolutely correct and then you download the scores. Once again please remember that I will be obscuring some parts of this information for student confidentiality but this is how you do it. So then you will open a CSV file which is a different version of an Excel file but it will still let you do what you need. So let's make it bigger so we can actually see it. Again, names, student IDs will be obscured. So because I know that I have entered the grades, I have assigned grades that did not get completed as a zero, I know that my final score is the actual correct score. But I don't need all this other information. All I want to know is the name of the student, and I want to know their final grade. So I'm actually going to hide these columns. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say hide. So now I just see, and I'm sorry, I do have to obscure the names, the student name, which is in column A, and what ended up in my course as a column Q, the final score. This makes it so simple for entering into the portal because you have the last name of the student along with their corresponding final grade. So you can simply upload it directly by hand, but ma manually by typing into the portal, but it just makes it so much more simple for you. So I hope this helps. Again, I apologize for obscuring the names, but it's required. But once you try this a few times, you'll understand it. If you have any questions, though, as always, please feel free to contact me.